Good morning. It's a beautiful day to meet up with a bunch of people I don't know and go on a drive. So here I am going through the Bay Area traffic right now. Uh, the Bay Area is, is gorgeous. It really is. There's not a lot of smoke over here right now. You can see the mountains. It's freaking beautiful. And uh, this traffic is also just gorgeous. I am pulling up, guys. Oh, look at that. We got some cool cars here. A Boost Blue Type R. Oh my, okay. There's actually a lot of people here. What's up? Brandon. What's up, man? Hey, good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. I'm dude. Man Cam. How, How you doing, been? dude? Nice to see you. It's so sparkly. Hi. Hey, I remember, I remember you. Yeah, I came from uh, the other one with uh, Joe up in uh, Sacramento with you guys. Okay. Yeah. What's your name again? Joel. Hello. Hi. It's Cameron. Tian Mei. What, what's your Tian name? Mei. Tian Mei. Yeah. Very cool name. It's me, Anthony. How's it going? Good. Nice How to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. So I just told the guys, hey, I'm not from this area. If you have a recommendation for a better road, then we'll do it. So Santiago led the charge. He gave us a good road to use. Here's what we have. We have a boost boost type car. Beautiful car though. And we have Joel, who's back with his Focus ST. Joel was in the video where I did the tow driving with the C7 Z06 about a month ago. Really nice 9th gen. Lowered just the perfect amount, I think. Oh man. Every time I see the 9th gen, dude, I, mean, you gotta... I don't know what it is. This is my first stick shift car. He's got the 4 race exhaust. Good choice, my friend. We have this asshole here with this black type R with a main lobster plate. What a douche. Then we have a tension, a tie. This right here, this EP3 is actually K24 A2 swapped. He says it makes about 253 to the wheels and it revs to 9500 RPM. That's ridiculous. That I, Honestly, I think that would put up a decent fight against the type R. Then we have a pretty cool looking tension SI here. The two-door with, what are these? Shift racing wheels. Another SI, h gen SI. And then we have Thomas. Thomas is at the group drive with the C5 V06. Oh wow, look at those wheels. That actually looks really cool. And then Brandon is back. He's part of the Outlaws. When I went to the Elite Tuner show in Urbandale, California, Brandon was one of the guys that came. Dude, before we take off, someone drove from Phoenix, Arizona for this. Someone drove from Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Look. What, what, what was your name? Jose. Jose. Okay. I'm Jose. sorry. I'm going to forget everyone's name. Nah, you're all good. Fine. You're good. Dude, I'm still... I, <laughs> I don't know. I find it hard to believe you drove from Phoenix. We, we both did. You, yeah. you, you both did? We both like drove there. I yeah. was at work, <laughs> just making a couple calls to customers, and I'm like, just telling everyone in the vicinity, I'm going to go to Cali tonight. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And he's like, oh, that sounds so fun. I'd love to go. And I'm like, I don't know, you want to go? Like, yeah, sure. I was like, you know it's a 10-hour drive, right, where I'm going? He's like... Oh, okay. You guys took off at like 9 or 10 last night? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Did you guys send me messages on Instagram? I, I sent did. you one. You did? Yeah. yeah. Did I respond? No. <laughs> I didn't? I'm sorry. I'll respond to like 30 people and then I'll keep scrolling down and then like 15 of those 30 people will, will have responded to me back and then it's just like it's so hard to... No, it's because I made a new Instagram and you replied to me on my first one and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to come down. This is a while ago. And then I couldn't make oh, it down that weekend. Cool, and then I was like, all right, bet I'm already coming down. Because back then I had a knife check. And then you're why I switched. I was like, damn. What the hell? I literally went to the dealership. I feel a little weird, honestly, that that Jose and his friend came all the way from Phoenix, Arizona for this drive. Uh, I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's crazy. Look at all these cars, guys. This is insane. So we're just now leaving the gas station and it's so freaking funny. You hear everybody's car start up at the same time and there are so many tensions here that all you hear is the freaking brake release. Hey, Joel's gonna be right behind me because his girlfriend has my other GoPro. Uh, Joel pulled through.
So I still have not gotten walkie talkies and half the group just got separated. So I had to call Thomas. <laughs> this is uh, already beginning to be quite an adventure. Isn't it always though? Look at all these rides. Jose, my man. What's up? That ninth gen, I absolutely love it. You know what, I'm gonna hold myself to it. At the end of this video, you will see me walking into Best Buy and purchasing some walkie talkies. What's up, Tommy? Hey, dude. Yeah, sorry about that, I wasn't paying attention. Honestly, why don't I do stuff like this like once a week? I mean, this is, this is what we live for as car enthusiasts, right? Getting together with a bunch of people who also like cars and just driving around, man. This is so freaking cool. So I think these are the twisty roads and unfortunately there's a Prius right there. You and Joel can pull over and let the Prius pass you. Uh, there's, there's a spot right here. Yes, the Prius is turning. This is great news, guys. Oh my God, that Integra. Now that I've seen a lot of Boost Blue Type R's in person, I wish I would have gotten that color. Oh man, I can smell that Integra. They need to make an Integra like that again, guys. I know you guys have all seen my video of my speculation on the new Integra, and we, we just don't know a lot about it yet. All they showed us was the headlight and half the front bumper. That even if they made a base model Integra for the 2023 model year with the K24 Z7 or whatever the ILX was using at this point, that wouldn't be the end of the world, man. Oh, he's smoking. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Joel behind me, his girlfriend has the GoPro out the sunroof. That is dedication. to get this on the track. I also really wish I would have taken my ninth gen when it was almost full bolt on, on some tow driving. I, th I think it would have done really well, honestly. Next time, guys. When Vivi and I get the BRZ, oh my God. That thing's gonna be on the track within the first week or two that we get that home. I promise you. Hold me to that because I promise you. what road we're on I don't have any cell service but we're going down a ways we're gonna stop at a nice area to take some pictures so on the way back we'll try to pick it up a little bit so we're going through a 15 mile per hour zone and we all basically went 40 <laughs> That 
was a really bad turn. This is why I need to get on the track so I can learn braking and cornering and stuff like that. Oh my God. I really hope you can see that on camera. That is incredible. Vivian was here with me. But anyway, what I was saying was, this really is an amazing place. Beautiful weather, beautiful scenery, but the cost of living, the housing shortage, the crime, all that sort of stuff. I'm no expert, so I don't know how you would fix that. I don't even know where you'd start. Holy shit. Look at this. Wow. This is beautiful, man. It is. If you take a left, it'll go to smooth roads. It's okay. crazy. Yeah, we can do a little more of that. Yeah? Yeah, after this. All right. Wow, though, dude. Oh, man. Good choice, Tom. I mean, I mean this is. Yeah. How'd you guys like that? It's good. That was nice. It felt like you were telling me go slower. No, nah, he was doing this. No, I was doing this. And then I was like, oh. I was, I was like that first. Yeah. And I think I may have like started to annoy you. I wasn't doing that at you. I was I was trying to <laughs> yeah, make it so like, that he would see me. Yeah. I I was also honking on the way like every train. I heard that. So like, you all, you always have a honk before going because you don't know who's over there. Yeah, that was smart. Yeah. That was smart. You did good, man. Good job. Dude, hey, uh, dude, I heard your car popping in Vegas. Oh yeah, that's shit. On the highway. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Shot, like, and then, but we ripped underneath the bridge and then absolutely we incredible. Like, Thank you for being bold. Imagine living in yeah. one of those homes over there on the hill. It's hot up here. It went into gear and everything. Can you hear my car over yours? I have a really loud vlog valve. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I hope so. Because you have the yeah. Catalyst fiber, right? No. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I have it, but I haven't I yet to install it yet. Still waiting to get it new. You were going ham with the filming. Yeah. He, was, he was directing me. He was like, try putting your hands out. I was like, for sure. At one point, I noticed that <laughs> I see your hands out the sunroof <laughs> yeah. of the GoPro, and I start laughing my ass I just need off. some longer arms, that's all. I don't know how good the clips yeah. actually were. T-Rex arms in there. there. T-Rex yeah. arms, she was like, uh. Because he used to make videos, so I would always be like. Oh, okay, so you've helped him film before. Mm -hmm. Nice. Definitely. I don't want it to be a four-door, but I think it is just because how the market is. I mean, we deserve a Type R Integra, but we're not even getting a Type R, we're getting a Type S. Right, but that's, so, that's just that's just the name of the game. It's yeah. name convention. So it's like Toyota going from GT86 to GR86. So it's their new brand. It's the GR brand. Yeah. Where, you know, Honda has completely and exclusively adopted the Type R brand and Acura same exact thing. Yeah. They just call it the Type S to just differentiate the, the The thing that was weird though is they still made the Integra Type R after the Honda Type R, you know? And well, America didn't get a... Right. Yeah, no, here too, they made it up to 2000. Okay. Uh, the Type R Integra. Okay. okay. About as hardcore of an Integra enthusiast <laughs> as possible. If you guys haven't seen the video with Matt where I reviewed his car, you should watch that. You can watch it right here. I mean, he has gone through several engines. Uh, different kits. I mean, missions. You've painted it. You've done everything. How yeah. long have you had this? Uh, it'll be eight years next month. Yeah. And the whole entire time you've owned it, you've just been going like yeah, full speed ahead the whole entire time. For like Breaking two stuff, fixing it. Yeah. For like two years, uh, it was a stock engine, but I was still like putting uh, pick and pull, and finding cars with motors that I can are compatible with parts. So yeah. I grabbed like cams out of a newer non VTEC motor and intake manifold and start making that thing. So this is a good example displaying the fact that you don't have to have the GSR or the Type R Integra you don't. to have a good build. Did it handle well in those turns? It we, did. We weren't really pushing it that hard. No, we, but we on the way back. it does well, especially when these tires get some heat in them. We've been talking for about 45 minutes or so. So we took a couple thumbnails. I'm not sure how good they look. So everybody is rearranging. Right there, 
actually looks good. Like your type art being like this? Oh, maybe. And yep. then like these like that? Yeah, we, we came to see you, sir. Those guys came from Arizona. That is just, that's tripping me out, dude. The boys and girls are rolling out. So I'm towards the back of the pack now. I think there are eight cars in front of me. It is surprisingly hot here too. It's all right though. Oh, that 370 sounds so nice. A lot of you guys have been commenting and telling me to get the 400Z, or sorry, I keep saying 400Z, they really should have called it the 400Z, am I right? I will try to make that happen sometime next year. We'll see how well the uh, 2022 BRZ can propel the channel, and if it makes the channel do so well that I can, you know, buy a new Z in cash next year, then mark my words, I will make that happen. And also there's the Integra, I know, there, it's a good time to be a car enthusiast, and that makes it difficult to choose which car to get. But at least I have my star. A fun fact about the Type R. So the auto downshift rev matching, it only works if your tachometer is above 2000 RPM. stuff I'm gonna keep my distance for the footage but Brandon's tires are so sticky that he's flinging stuff up onto the car I don't want that obviously let's see if I can do this with one arm thing is gripping so well. Impressive. I think this would be a decent time to come clean about something really unfortunate. Uh, so I got an email yesterday from MA Performance, and this is not their fault, but my Titan 7 wheels got pushed back to October 31st. Dude, we are like... <laughs> legit fast and furious right now this is awesome i also want you guys to remember the gopro has auto stabilization so it's making it look a lot smoother than it actually is in real life that was so much fun so this is where it got really really crazy 
uh, I have to make this two videos because the second half of this trip, I thought it was pretty exciting up to this point, but the next video you're going to see, I mean, everyone had already gotten warmed up and they were just going crazy, especially me. Uh, I mean, I, w I had to slam on my brakes a couple of times, sliding all over the place. Everybody was sliding around. All you heard was like tire screeching. We were going like 110%. So the next video is going to be ridiculous. But like I told you guys, I am going to buy walkie-talkie. So this is what I'm getting right here. It's a six-pack. Uh, later down the road, I can get another six-pack. So, I mean, today there were 12 cars. So I'm going to go ahead and place this order right now. And there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I will see you guys again on Sunday. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry, Thomas. Not that I'm picking favorites or anything. <laughs> but since you guys drove from fucking Phoenix... So Vivian is making new merch designs. So when she gets those finalized, I'm just gonna send you guys some. Oh, that'd be that's, that's dope. That's yeah. wild, dude. I mean, I wasn't really doing it for anything else, but that, I, that's just, definitely we cool. We just wanted to drive, come out here, have fun. Wow. Oh, sure. Yeah. You guys race on over here? Oh, yeah. We race a little Shit. bit. Yeah. The 8th gen actually keeps up. I put the uh, Type R steering wheel in, okay. as well as the Type R shift assembly, and it's yep. got the acuity bushings and the spring as well. Like, we put that in literally last night before we left. You are a wild man, so you're running on no sleep. Yeah, yeah basically. 